Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. You know what, Brian, when it comes to the farm bill and spending on food stamps, a lot of people are confused that this all gets lumped into one pot. Yeah, it really does. And so this is one of the things I've been amazed at. In the last year and a half, there have been some different proposals out there to split the farm bill, or what's at, what actually goes to farmers, from food stamps. And back in 2009, 2010, 2011, you start looking at, oh my goodness, we spent all this money on the farm bill. Well, yes and no. We spent 60, 65% on food stamps. Well, and that number's been growing. You know, there, there are many reasons for that. Of course, our country has, has been in poor economic times compared to where we were a few years back. So that's certainly part of it as more people have gotten onto food stamps and some sort of government assistance. The challenge for farmers is we're taking all the heat on this. That, <laughs> yeah. Wow, you farmers are getting so much money. No, we're not. Uh, but yes, in the quote unquote farm bill, there is a lot of spending. There's no doubt. Okay, so I just wanted to look at the actual numbers from 2011. We don't have 2012s quite yet. But with 2011, I just wanted to make sure you knew what the true spending numbers were. And by the way, uh, our research people here at Ag PhD told me it was very difficult to get these numbers. It's hard to find out how much the government's actually spending. Well, it, that's no surprise to me, Brian. You know, there, there are a lot of people spending the money, and yeah, getting it all accounted for sometimes takes a little bit of time. Okay, so basically the grand total spending in 2011 for the farm bill was $109 billion. I just wanted you to know, with nutrition, the nutrition programs are far, food stamps, basically, for the most part, out of that $109 billion, over $70 billion was spent on food stamps. So that only leaves $39 billion left. Not all that went to farmers either. You start looking at some of the other things like research, like trade and tax provisions, like energy, uh, trade and exports, all these different things. That didn't come right to the farmer. I'm farming ground, I didn't get any of that money. So what it really came back to, the commodities programs for 2011 was $6.5 billion. So six and a half billion out of 109 billion, that's it. That's what went to farmers. Now you could say, well, on crop insurance too. Yes, there was another 12 billion for crop insurance, but you know, that's all we got. So yeah, even if you add those two numbers together, you're only talking around 18 billion out of 109 billion. Problem is, Brandon Washington, there's always these compromises because more urban states, they're much in favor of having food stamp programs because they've got a lot more poor people that live in those areas and they want to make sure they're taken care of and they don't have a lot of farms. But then you've got rural states where the population is much lower. They're much more concerned about the farms and keeping them going. And really as a country, what we're concerned about is we want to have a cheap food supply. We want to have plentiful food and we want to have good, safe food to consume. And fortunately on all three of those things, we're succeeding very well in the United States compared to really any other country around the world. So let's just hope, Brian, that the politicians get along enough that we can keep that going because uh, our food source is really a strength for our country. And if you don't understand that, uh, just think about it for one day, how much you're eating and think about everybody else around the world and how many calories they're consuming. Uh, and, and granted, sometimes we don't always make the best food choices, but we have choices and that's pretty nice. Yeah, and the other thing, and where I wanted to finish with this is, yes, there is a little bit of money, and I realize $18 billion is more than a little, but really when you divide that out for every person in the United States, we're not talking a lot of dollars per person. And because of that investment that they've made in farmers, we now have the lowest cost food supply in the whole world. So we're spending less of our income on food than anywhere else in the world, and how can you beat that? Well, one of the reasons why, Brian, is we're doing such a great job controlling our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 